for Sunday? Yeah, day to day basis. Uh, uh, we have to wait, you know, if reaction was not really like 100%, more like 80%, like now 85 Tomorrow we see again what we can do, and uh, we're going to make a choice after the training. And uh, Vasquez, I didn't see him out there. Any no, he had the individual uh, schedule uh, today, uh, training schedule. Uh, he's doing well, but he's not ready for the Okay. Very interesting. In your introductory press conference, your very first press conference, that you made your prioritize certain competitions. Uh, obviously, you weren't expecting to be number of injuries, but do you feel like you've been able to do so? The way you want it to. Yeah, you know, uh, of course we uh, work very closely, you know, with a lot of performance and to see that everybody, you know, can, can keep up and stay fit, of course. Sometimes it's a, you know, as a as a coach, you always that balance, you know. Uh, head of performance, of course, you know, they're pulling okay towards maybe safety, and we as coaches, you know, yeah, we have only one thing, and that's the best for the team. And if you want to, you know. If your player who you think is important but maybe need rest, it, will you take that risk or, or not? And, uh, that balance you always have to find. And sometimes you go over it and nothing happens, and sometimes, yeah, it will happen. And you say, yeah, I took it, uh, the risk, and yeah, unfortunately it didn't uh, went well, came out well. But you know, that's on top level. You know, if you uh, we want to uh, win things, you have to risk something. But of course, with uh, with a good. Uh, Conversation uh, with you know uh, with the people who uh, you know has learned from it you know and, uh, so but uh, I think we're doing well and of course uh, you always want uh, that no one gets injured but you know that's um, it could be you know, there will always be injuries and uh, that's what I said uh, to the group uh, uh, one hour week ago you know everybody has to be ready because you want to split you have to step in. You know, that happened, for example, with Parker, be a striker. Considering they're uh, just one point behind and have two games at hand, does some of these games feel like a six point kind of match in terms of playoff season? Yeah, for New York, you know, the FC is a very good team. And, uh, they uh, have all the players, and yesterday, uh, of course, in the last second, they won. It's, very, very it's, a, it's a team that we uh, have to count on, you know, for them. It's so uh, tough because. Uh, they show they didn't lose um, maybe one game or two games in the whole season. So it uh, means that they are very solid, but also the quality what I, I saw you know, during the game. But it's also very high standard. So uh, if we can put them, you know, uh, three, uh, six points behind, it should be uh, fantastic. And uh, of course, yeah, we have to face them also in New York still. And they have two games in the Fenton still. So uh, hopefully uh, we can make that gap. Do you try to prepare the team differently when you're going up against a team that has a higher quality of standard, like like NYCFC, as opposed to a team that you think well, you might you know what I always say. You know, we always have uh, respect for the opponent. It doesn't matter which opponent. They have always their qualities, and we try to try to minimize their qualities and you know get to, and to get more focus on. The, Weaknesses of the opponent, but uh, always with a lot of respect uh, for the opponent. And sometimes you have to adapt uh, a little bit, but uh, of course, we're playing at home and uh, we want to go in that position. Barco and PT plays for against Orlando. Another one of those guys are players who really want to play off the back shoulder, move the line like Joseph does. Do you have to ask the team as a whole to play differently uh, considering that? Yeah, but still, you know, we still have to make runs behind the last line. You know, and, uh, uh, we we cannot have that everybody, you know, coming into the ball. And, uh, that's very easy to defend. You know, uh, we are really focusing you know, always on, you know, on that. that uh, one goes deep, the other draw, it goes high. You know, that combination we always have to have. And of course, Joseph. Different with Joseph is he's always on the right moment. It's a quality, you know, so like in Jaggi, you know, in uh, my days, yeah, maybe he couldn't uh, keep the ball up for five times uh, in a row, but he was always on time, and like eight times he was offside, but four times <laughs> he was not offside, and it was one against one against the goalkeeper. Yeah, that's a quality, and Joseph has that quality to always 
uh, make that run behind uh, at the right moment. And yes, a good feeling, is especially with uh, Jules who always anticipating on that. I think also with Barker now and Pippi, uh, you already see that uh, the feeling is also coming there. Is there uh, sorry, the, uh, you know, NYC's home field, it's quite a challenge to get there and play. Does that make this game even more vital to get all three points knowing that you can still play? There? Yeah, you know, that's a very small pitch, you know, you go one part of the field, of course, you know, it's uh, just lay down the grass, you know, and, uh, so they are used to, to play there, and uh, that's why they also play a lot of small uh, shortcuts uh, uh, game, you know, and they are very good in it. But uh, yeah, we have to try to stress them out, of course. You know, and we have uh, that advantage at home, so we have to uh, get that advantage. Does not having Joseph playing off the back shoulder like he's able to do affect what you're asking the wing backs to do? Because their crosses in where Joseph can get to that space. Yes. So Pity and Barco, that's not really no. their strength. No, but you know, the, then other uh, players have to anticipate that. But still, I expect that one of those two will make those runs uh, behind. Of course, Barco is more suited for that than uh, uh, the agility that he has in the first meter. Uh, but I think uh, still Pity can do the most. I wanted to ask you about Miles. Not necessarily what he offered, brings defensively, but the way he's improved this season. You talked after the LA Galaxy game about the way he provoked uh, yeah. you know, the, the opposition forwards and was able to distribute. How have you seen him grow? Uh, in, yeah, as no, far as I think that's it again. Uh, I think a big step for him uh, forward and, uh, because that makes you a more complete uh, defender, defender player. And, uh, so if you can add that this, this to his uh, Quality, you know, or the tourist, uh, I call that uh, his, his weapons, for example. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, repertoire. Yeah, repertoire. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, that, it's difficult uh, for the opponent, you know, and uh, I thought today he did it again, and uh, we have to, uh, if he yeah, get that feeling, you know, then he's going to be a really complete uh, defender. And we have, uh, Maybe the best defender, and also uh, a player who is really complete as a defender. Uh, and, and then last, Frank, how you know as, as an ex player that you know, players want to be on the field all the time, but they're even you know, when they're injured, they feel yeah. like how has the squad from you know, guys like Parker, Scott, and Vince, and Eric, how have they reacted to like your, the way the squad has rotated sometimes? Yeah, no, uh, again, you know. Uh, we communicated very well, I think. Uh, of course, you have like an ideal uh, team right now from 11, 12 men, uh, and then you rotate something because sometimes you know, the opponent uh, is suitable to, to do that because in this quality, maybe, uh, for example, if an opponent plays long balls uh, pretty quickly, then a you know, uh, player like uh, Jeff Lorenkovic. Know, can make a sandwich with uh, your center defenders. You know, they're headed away and they can just lay back and well, see where the uh, ball will bounce. You know, so then you choose for him, and then you think, okay, that's the moment that he can step in, and then okay, uh, John can step out, Eric can step out, or something, or Emerson can step out. So uh, yeah, that's how you make your decision. But normally, 85% of the ball will be the same. Uh, Barco played 45 minutes. You said you didn't yeah. want to play anymore. No. I guess we'll end up because of this game. Yeah. The other came on and gave you uh, 15 minutes or yeah, something like that. Right. How many minutes do you anticipate them? They might be able to give you on Sunday. Should be? well, I think uh, Barco. We're going to see how he's doing. You know, if he still looks fresh after 70 minutes, he can still go along. But uh, we're going to have to, to wait. That was uh, all. Of them, but, uh, he's looking very fresh and eager to play. And, uh, and Tito, we have to wait now. He's a different type of player than, than Barco. He's very explosive. And he's a player who needs more rhythm than Barco, in my point of view, because he's so explosive. And to do that up and down, you know, uh, that costs a lot of energy for those explosive players. They have to recover uh, to, uh, for more time. So that's why. Yeah, you have to be very careful with those kind of times, but uh, 15, 20 minutes, you know, I think 
think he can then hopefully with training and uh, hopefully he can do more in the America against America again. So. Yeah, that was my next question. I know the next game is always the most important game, yeah. uh, but I know you also plan about a week out for the second. Game. Yeah. So this the oddity of this Campionis Cup game. Are you planning for that as if it were a league game, or how are you approaching that? Yeah, well, you know, I, of course, you know, the first game is the most important uh, game. Afterwards, we're going to look, and of course, I have my ideas about it, you know, who can uh, be rotating or something, who can give the opportunity, you know, to start for them, for example, or important, because that's also maybe a, uh, a chance to give people will rest, you know, because of the long trip. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So those choices uh, we still uh, have to make, but I have my ideas of course, but uh, you know, we're going to take it very seriously. We try to get it very seriously, you know, because uh, it's a cup that we want to win. Just I was trying to reconcile how you can do that, because you also said you don't rotate more than three or four players. No, no. From the start yes, I know. Minute, so. so we have to really, you know, how, how Heavy this game is uh, coming Sunday, of course. We have two days uh, rest in between to play on Wednesday, and uh, then we will see. There you go. Do you play fantasy soccer? No. <laughs> I don't like I always want to win. 